Hi, my name is Cindy and this is Ed and we play pickleball locally here in Columbus several times a week. It's a great fun exercise and I have to warn you it's addictive. We help promote pickleball through the teaching in beginner clinics and in some schools. We have a fantastic club here in Columbus. It's called Columbus Pickleball Club. It has been an organization for about four years. We have 186 members. We have lots of fun, fun, did I say fun, social activities. It's a great group of people. We promote pickleball by teaching beginner clinics through the Parks and Rec Department in some schools. And we also hold open houses so we can have people come and uh, see the game and see what it's about before they sign up for a class. We've had a pickleball marathon here in Columbus. We've been in the local parade as well. We hold tournaments to benefit uh, different places in Columbus through Thrive Alliance and also fundraising to build more courts here in Columbus through our Discover Columbus Pickleball Tournament. Look for that Discover Columbus Pickleball Tournament coming soon. We have a small membership fee to our club which includes attendance to skills and drills which helps you improve your game. We hold those in the winter time. We also have very fun, did I say fun, pickleball social activities including holiday parties, different round robins and that sort of a thing. We have several places to play in Columbus. One of them is Foundation for Youth and we have that mostly during the day because the kids are in school. This is during the winter time. We also have weekend schedules as well and those schedules will be on our website, our Facebook page. And there's a small fee for that at Foundation for Youth, as well as Tipton Lakes Athletic Club. There's a place to play out there west of town, and there's a small fee there as well. And it's an organized time, so you call, schedule your time, and play there. We have two dedicated pickleball courts in Columbus at Donner Center. Uh, where the pickleball, where the, excuse me, the shuffleboard courts used to be, there's two dedicated courts there. And we schedule times for recreational level, for competitive time, and we also hold several clinics there in the summer. There's also a place to play at Richards Elementary School. Uh, Parks and Rec owns two t older tennis courts there, and they've allowed us to tape and um, paint off the line so we can have six pickleball nets there at a time so lots of people can play. And again, we have scheduled times of recreational level or competitive level, and we do hold clinics there as well. We also have a fantastic place to play here at Millray Center. There's an indoor court, well lit, nets are available, paddles are available, balls are available, and a wonderful place to play outside with the view of the park and the trees. It's a beautiful place to play here, right here at Millray Center. And those times, would be listed at the desk. However, the outdoor play could be any time that mill race is open. There's not a time schedule change there. When traveling, it's really fun to bring your paddle and pickleballs because you can go anywhere and play. You pack your equipment, go to Florida, Arizona, wherever you want to play, and Google pickleball places to play, and people are welcoming. It's a lot of fun to play. I've even had an opportunity to play, play on a cruise ship. It was a lot of fun at the top of the ship with St. Thomas in the background. So it's a lot of, did I say fun? It's a lot of fun to play in lots of different places. There's uh, equipment that we use in pickleball, the paddle. There's different styles and kinds. And there, we'll show you, demonstrate in a little bit how to hold them. There's different kinds of balls. There's an indoor ball and it has larger holes and that's to be used inside. And there's an outdoor ball with smaller holes. And the reason why the smaller holes are for the outside is so the wind doesn't take the ball as much. And a lot of things can be purchased online. Uh, we use pickleballcentral.com a lot in our club here in town because they give us a discount. And uh, you can also purchase things at Dunham's here locally. I wanna talk a little bit about the history of pickleball. In 1965, it was invented on Bainbridge Island, just off of Seattle. It was invented to have a, be a short, suitable game for the entire family. Now it is the fastest growing sport. The beauty of this game is that it can be played in lots of different levels. 
can be played at the beginner level, recreational level, intermediate level, competitive level, and the super high professional level. And for beginners to uh, higher level players, it can be different ages. The 20-year-olds, Fast and Furious, the super professionals are a lot of fun to watch. It's a, pickleball is a simple game played using a perforated wiffle ball. It's played with a tennis style net on a badminton size court. It is strongly suggested that you take a beginner clinic before you come and play the game. That way you can learn the scoring, how to handle the ball, the safety issues involved with playing pickleball. So one of the things that we do before we play a game, it's like any other sport, you should do some warm up, a few minutes of stretching, um, warming up your muscles, because it's much easier to warm up your muscles than having an injury and trying to work on that issue. It's important to have plenty of water for when you play different games. It's important to have comfortable clothes. It's important to have uh, comfortable tennis shoes or a court shoe. And important safety issues are when you do play the game and a ball comes up high, don't try to run backwards and get it. You could possibly fall. And if there's a ball that's coming out of your reach, don't try to reach it and fall down. It's most important to be safe and have fun. Did I say have fun? That's very important. The other important thing we do here in Columbus, and most people do um, playing pickleball, is to be in good sportsmanship. Uh, when you have a game it's over with, you come to the net, you touch paddles, good game, or sometimes if you lose really bad, it's kind of hard to say that. <laughs> but try to have good sportsmanship like when you play. And also, when the game is played, the, there's four people that play, two different sides of the net, and each side of the net calls out the line balls in or out. And it's try, try to be respectful of those calls. So important to be good sportsmanship and mostly important to have fun. Hi, we're going to do a little demonstration for you and explain the game of pickleball a little bit. We are currently at Millray Center, standing on this great facility. I have a wonderful court here inside, and I'll explain the lines. We have outside lines on both sides, down both sides, and all the way at the other end. We have a baseline, which is here. It's the outside line on the end. We have a center line that divides the court. And as we go for the, further up here, we have an area called a non-volley zone or the kitchen area. Now this is an important area because this is where most of the game is played after the serve. And the important thing about this area is if the ball bounces in this area, it's legal for you to step in and hit the ball and then get back out. If the ball is to come up into the air here, and you go to hit it and you step across that line, that is a foot fault. So always be mindful of this kitchen area non-volley zone. Now, from when we serve the ball, I'm going to go back here in this serving spot. Now the serve is to be hit underhand and below the waist. It's how you serve the ball. Okay, and when I serve this ball, my partner's back here. It's usually played with four people, two on the other side. And this ball will be served over into this far court where this kind gentleman is standing. And it has to land inside that rectangle over there. Now, the important thing about serving the ball is, that, again, it has to be underhand, has to break below the waist. It's kind of like a bowling move, and it has to bounce in that rectangle. Now, there's a rule in pickleball called the bounce-bounce rule. It has to bounce once over there, and the, person, the opponent can hit it in either rectangle over here, but it has to bounce before this team can hit it. So it's very important to stay back. When you serve the ball, don't go running in because that ball has to bounce in one of these 
rectangles before it goes back over because if you hit it in the air then that's a fault and you lose your serve. So the important thing is to serve the ball below the waist in the rectangle and stay put. Paddle up ready to go for that ball to come back over here. Once that ball has bounced here and myself or my teammate has hit the ball to either place over here then you make your way up to the non-volley zone. And I'm going slow just to show you where to go. But you kind of zoom up. And then you're ready to play up here. Because from at this point, you can jump up, you can scoot over, play from side to side. The ball bounces in here, you can step in and hit it, come back out. And this is where your advantage is because this is the offensive place. Because I can see that whole court over there and I can hit the ball in lots of different places. The, another important thing about the serve is if I serve the ball and it goes to the net here and it hits the top of the net but it bounces over in the rectangle where it's supposed to go where he is, it's called a net serve and you can redo it. And you can do that as many times as possible. It doesn't mean it can only just happen once and then that's it. If it happens two or three times, that's perfectly fine. Now, if I serve the ball and it hits the net and it doesn't even go over, it's a fault, I lose my serve. If I serve the ball and it hits the net and it goes in their kitchen or it doesn't land in the rectangle where it's supposed to go, that's a fault as well than the next person to serve. So the object of the game is to get your serve. I'll go back over here to the baseline. You have to stand behind the line and you have to stay within the boundaries of the court. I cannot serve the ball outside of the sideline or the middle line. The ball has to be served behind this line within this area. So I'm going to serve the ball underhand to my opponent. My opponent's going to serve it or shoot it back, and then we play out. But we can demonstrate that now. And you always, when you start a game, you make sure everyone's ready. Your teammate your opponents and you start the game by saying zero zero start so nobody has any points yet and it's the start of a game so I'm going to hit the ball to my opponent now all right that is the end of that point and so because he won that one, I forfeit my serve now, and now it's the next team's serve. Okay, that's the end of that point. So normally when you have four people, then Ed's teammate would serve next and you change the, you take turns serving. The other important thing about serving is when at the beginning of the game, the advantage of serving first as a team is that you only make points any time of the game is when you serve the ball. That's the only time that you can make points. So the advantage at the beginning of the game is to start the serve. The disadvantage is because of starting the game, your team only gets one person to serve. It's a little confusing and we're going to give you some information to follow this to, to learn more about the serving. 
So once the game starts, then each team, they each get a chance to serve. That's how that works. So uh, it's a lot of fun. It's at different levels. There's so many things you can do. Some of the warm-up uh, activities, and we'll show you that briefly here as we finish up, is called dinking. And this one, so he can see. We're going to demonstrate a little bit of dinking. And this is how we warm up and um, learn to control the ball. It's called dinking. And you bend your knees and you lift up. It's just a short, short game back and forth. Nice and easy over the net. And this is very good exercise. Bend your knees and lift the ball up. And it's about ball control. And that's the game of pickleball. Now, we will have information for you afterwards, again, on the website here, about the USAPA. It's a pickleball association that sanctions tournaments and pickleball, and you get a lot of information from there. Our Columbus Pickleball Club has a Facebook page. There's a lot of information on there. We have schedules and activities, and when folks are in tournaments, we have pictures about that. We have all kinds of information. We have, we'll have membership. Columbus Pickleball Club membership applications here for you. We'll have pointers. We have some magazines here for you. And come play at Millray Center. It is a great place. They have a great facility here to play and outside as well. And we thank you so much for letting us come. And pickleball is awesome. And we will see you in a clinic and then on the courts. Thank you.